We begin this Sunday evening with a look at the expansion of the Gregory Portland High School Agricultural Program. Gregory Portland ISD hosted a groundbreaking recently for the new facilities and planned to begin construction soon. Brandon Schaff visited the school today to learn more about the planned expansion and joins us in studio now with our top story. Brandon. Hello, Brian, and yes, excitement is growing in the Gregory Portland ISD as their local FFA chapter gets a look at some new facilities that will help better prepare students for life after high school. Now, FFA is a student leadership organization that is currently advised by an agricultural science teacher at Gregory Portland High School. And the expansion means that she'll go from teaching nine classes in just one classroom to an entire new section of campus. Since I've been here, that's what I've been focused on. Um, and I feel like that is one of the main reasons that they hired me was to grow the program. The agricultural science program is expanding in Gregory Portland High School. The community voted to add multiple new facilities in bond 2020. For teacher and FFA advisor Jesse Ferguson, that's exactly what they hired her for. Because of our community support, we're able to get those facilities and grow even more. Um, and the saying goes, build it and they will come. We're building the facilities, kids will fill it. One of those kids is Gregory Portland FFA President Elizabeth Sides. The soon to be senior will graduate by the time the new classrooms, greenhouse and project center are built. But she says FFA helped her get out of her shell and open her up to a wide range of possibilities after high school. FFA isn't just farmers or isn't just people in the agriculture industry as a, by itself. It's also public speakers and learning how to communicate with people and communicate your ideas and being able to be a part of something. With the new project center to house animals that students can show at competitions, they will have a place to raise those animals in a community where that can be a challenge. Portland is more of, you know, an urban suburban area and you can't exactly raise a steer in your backyard. So they need somewhere to be able to put that. And when it comes to continuing the expansion of the FFA program at her school, Side says this is exactly what needed to happen. People will be able to see the opportunities that you'll get to have through a FA just out in our backyard. There will actually be facilities where you can contribute to the agriculture industry and learn about it in full. And Ferguson tells me the contractors have been secured for the new facilities and construction is planned to begin this summer. And they expect the expansion to complete and ready to use in about 12 to 18 months. Brian.